less than 50% of Nottingham's homeless applications are accepted. A large majority of the rest of the applications are people that are not technically homeless. We were given permission to speak to local Nottingham activist Pete Wakeling about his views on the PSPO. At first, I was very much of the opinion when I read the initial draft that this was a devious and, and malicious attempt to sort of almost sweep homeless people out of Nottingham um, into the, the, the peripheral areas. And that's a reasonable thing to think because that's how it's been used in the past. But having spoken to the leader of the council a couple of weeks ago, I am of the opinion that although the PSPO is, is flawed and mistaken and shouldn't be done, it is being done largely through good intentions. The scientific research says that it, it does um, work in some instances, but it's a high risk policy which is equally as likely to displace people out of the, the, the area where the PSPO is or the, the coercion is in effect into outlying areas. I think that the PSPO on a practical level uh, with regards to homelessness is flawed for that reason but I think we also need to look at it from a um, almost a philosophical or ethical point of view. The attitude you should take in my opinion when you see people who are suffering from, from having this, this fundamental right taken from them isn't one of saviourship but one of solidarity. In the seventh richest economy in the world that shouldn't be a big ask. If we want to tackle drug abuse, do we tackle the most vulnerable people in our society who are the victims of that abuse? The people that, uh, for various reasons, have seen um, ex-servicemen with, with PTSD, people who've suffered absolute horrendous sexual abuse in the childhood, and really they look towards these, these substances to, as a form of self-medication particularly in, in, in this austere age where mental health services have been absolutely decimated. Does any civilised system of tackling drug abuse criminalise an attempt to move on and saying we don't want them here, so demonise the victims who are the users? Or does a civilised method of dealing with drug abuse target the suppliers of this poison who are pumping awful substances like the synthetic cannabinoids such as spice into the most vulnerable people in our communities and killing them. Nottingham is the fourth highest ranking for the homeless in the UK behind Manchester and Derby. The East Midlands is the worst for homelessness having two of its major cities in the UK on the top five list. We spoke to John Collins, the leader of the council, to gain some more insight on the PSPO. What you see is um, concerns that people have uh, who work in the city centre or who visit the city centre about the way the city centre is managed, about things that they like or things they don't like. Um, and many of, those, uh, many of those activities are activities that the local authority has very little purchase on. You know, I know people have these concerns and look at the, look at the additional powers the local authority will take through the PSPO and um, believe that they'll be used in a particular way. Um, the view of the City Council is that actually um, our, our focus when we're talking about homeless people is that we need to make sure that there is no need for anybody who's homeless to uh, actually sleep on the streets. We have a policy in Nottingham which is no second night out, which will develop into no first night out. Um, there is accommodation available for everybody uh, who is sleeping rough. We visited Emmanuel House, a local Nottingham charity, to learn what staff think about the PSPO and how it affects homelessness in the city centre. So Emmanuel House is the only open access service in the city, so anybody can walk through our door, regardless of who they are, where they come from, or their economic circumstances. We provide all the kind of basic services that you and I, when we woke up this morning, we didn't think about food, clothing, someone to speak to, all that kind of stuff. And then as well as that, um, we've got a wide range of staff here with a whole different sorts of expertise. Um, that will uh, be alongside people and help them get out of the situation they're in, the homelessness situation they're in, and hopefully move on into some sort of settlement. Well, the, on the face of it, um, it may well be that people who are quite vulnerable uh, would um, have their interventions short-circuited and uh, they would be 
kind of moved on without um, people coming into contact with them. Um, there are people in the city who, uh, uh, some people who will come in and beg professionally, for example, and they do indeed need to be moved on. Um, there are also people who are accommodated but who will leave their accommodation very early in the morning and place themselves on the streets. Um, the, the problem as I see it is that the, the PSBO is a sort of a, a bit of a white flag to, um, to the interventions that we've got at hand. Um, there are lots of services that provide um, some very, very good services and we need to um, underpin those as much as possible. The PSBO um, curtails people's liberties. Um, I think there are, there are other ways in which energy can be invested into uh, providing services for homeless people. The aim of the game is very clearly to deal with the things that people are most concerned about uh, and um, to try and make sure that when we're dealing with vulnerable people in the city centre that uh, the approach we're taking is not a punitive one but a supportive one and it's one where we're providing service. We've survived hundreds and hundreds of years without a PSPO. From a libertarian perspective, do we need the hyper-regulation of our public realm? Yes, we do need to make it a safe and inclusive space for everybody. Uh, certainly if you go to town at night, is it, is it the homeless people begging that make it an unsafe and uninclusive space? Who owns the streets in Nottingham? I'd suggest the council don't own the streets of Nottingham. They are just custodians for the public. The public own the streets of Nottingham. And these streets should be places where lovers can love, um, people can meet, um, people can beg.